Hello everybody, good day to you all. The day after my Resident Alien season number two, episode number nine, Autopsy. And the show is back. It's, it's finishing out the season number two. The party is over. Everything's everything's and then and, and then things get crazier because a guy shows up seeing Harry because Harry took the body of, of Harry uh, Van der Smeagle, but he's dead. Taking the but he's the aliens, but the guy knows the other Harry, thinking that's Harry, and then there's no he he tries to kill Harry and then Alistair kills the guy. So now Alistair's freaking out. Darcy is there too, so she helps cover it up cover it up. She she wants to confess to everybody, but by confessing, she not only does she expose Harry, she also exposes herself to other other people who might come and try to kill her. And also aliens are on this planet who wants to kill everybody. So yay! A lot of things are going down. Things are not going down in a good way. And now so you got Alice having a nervous breakdown because she's feeling guilty. Harry trying to cover it up, and also Harry's feeling feelings for the first time as well too, because he almost died. And getting shot. Even though it's, 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 it's the thing, the real thing about this though, this is not the first time he almost died. When he always got, when he, when he put down that, that, that ravine and he started to see, that's how Austin found out about himself. He had to chop off his leg so he could survive. He didn't have that feeling then, but I guess I guess because now that he's in the he's been in the human body a lot, a lot longer, I guess, and his um, and his biology is sort of like since he's been in this form so long, his biology starting to change a little bit as well too. He's starting to develop feelings that he didn't have before, like fear of dying. Because before, death is, is, is a part of life. I mean, I mean, death is part of life everywhere. But they accept it more there. Here, we, we it's like we kind of fight against it a little bit. I mean, we know what's going to happen, but we get accept. We still got. We still. We still cry when we when somebody who we love passes away, and they don't have those happy feelings and emotions. So when he, when he felt it though, first time he was facing death for the first time ever, he actually felt something for the first time, and now he felt something he felt never felt before, which is fear. And you see him dealing with how you how you dealing with that in this episode right here as well too. Also got the comedic parts in here with the with the whole with the mayor and his wife and their relationship right there trying to get um trying to go going to Harry for psychology advice about their about their marriage which is so weird because Harry doesn't want to be there and they just kind of confessing everything and they think his because what him him saying I don't care is like some weird psychological technique to help to help them out it just doesn't make no sense at all but that's just silly. And then, and then now that there's a dead body here, the sheriff gets involved, and he's just wacky and crazy and weird. But, but and you see him trying to um, investigate the situation, and but the mayor, not wanting somebody else to be in, in um, another death in his in his town, trying to pass it out to somebody else. Which we, 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 we get introduced to Detective Luna Torres, who's who, um, who's played by Nicola um, Demon Demut Demon Demandi. I don't know. Anyways, but but the thing is, though, she's an interesting character. We don't know too much about her just yet. But I, I'm I'm thinking that she might be a, a possible love interest for a share of Mike Thompson, because they have been pushing it for a while in this in this series in this, in this season so far. Him finding love, because you had his deputy try to hook him up on a, hook up on somebody and that that went sour, and so this is the first time he might he might find his match with this woman because they're gonna be working together here. She's gonna be making making her part of the show, and so most 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 likely. Love connection is going to happen there. I, I, I could be wrong on this one. They also have uh, um, Linda Hamilton, who plays um, General General Wright, and also um, who's also um, who's teaming up with um, David um, Logan, who's, who, who's played by um, Alex um, Barama. I hope I said that right. And he she he was shot, but he was but he survived and, and, and came back because he had the Ellen device on him, which kind of healed him. Very interesting there. Looking, looking forward to seeing what, what kind of other properties it has on the human body. Will he start developing powers too, or something else altogether? Well, we'll see what happens. Also, that also the alien baby is still out there fending for itself and fighting in the wild. So that's, that's very interesting too. So a lot of crazy things are going down in this episode. A lot of things going back. The humor of this show has always been fun and fun, fun to watch because because uh, it's really it's really been, um, been led by Alan Tudyk, um, um, really embodying this role and becoming this character here. And it's it's so weird that he is so weird and so off that nobody can tell that he's that something's wrong with him. I just like you got the, the mayor and his wife in his office, talk confessing about about their marriage and everything like that too to him, but yeah, he, you can tell he he's, like he does not care at all, and he's pretty much telling them over and over again, I don't want you here, I want you out, but yet they, 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 they say, oh, he's just being weird, and just keep just keep just see what, what, what their business like that. Like, you might pay attention how weird and crazy he is. Even Darcy wouldn't date him at one time, and like it's so odd, it's so odd. 
she also has other comedic moments in here, especially when you got um, Judy and her moments that she having because she's she, cause she's, in, she's in love with the sheriff and she's trying to get his attention as much as possible and it's not really working at all. And, 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 but she's so, she, but she's so weird and so crazy. But she's trying. But she's also very sweet and very nice as a, a character as well too. Um, the relationship between um, the sheriff and um, the sheriff and his deputy is also very, very fun, fun to watch as well too. Because they, cause they, they, they work well off one another, even though the sheriff is like wacky and crazy and says the most weirdest things ever. And it's always the deputy who says the right thing, but he, he just dismisses it, and then and, and, and then it comes back around to the find out that she actually was right the whole time. So it's, like, it's so weird. But but overall, a fun episode. But but watching Asta slowly losing her mind over this, even though. She not killed him before, and so it's really messing her up. And the guilt of this is messing her up. But she's she not thinking about everything altogether. Yes, she yes she might be in danger for other people who might come and try to kill her. But at the same time, if she does confess and t and says what happened, yes, it is self defense. But it, but it's also gonna seem like she's lying too because she said Harry got shot. If Harry heals, and, and, and there's no bullet wound there, then what? If, if Harry got shot, why didn't he go to the hospital? You're gonna answer those kind of questions because uh, he's uh, doesn't like doctors. I, I, how, how are you gonna explain that one? So either either way, even if the people want to after her, which I'm, I'm not sure who they, 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 they might be a threat anymore because the alien took care of those guys who's watching. So what 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 what, what, what happened like this what was she thinks she's gonna like, like she's not thinking the, the whole thing all the way through right now she's thinking about she's guilty she's feeling guilty and she wants to confess that's all, that's all she's thinking about she's not thinking about the, the fact that harry's an alien and you're trying to keep a secret this whole entire time by you going to the cops and telling them what's going on they're gonna they're gonna try they're gonna ask harry if have you been shot he's gonna say no and then and, and since he's functioning around nothing like nothing wrong with him it's gonna look like you're the one who's nuts and you just shot somebody for no reason. Like, that, like and then you just go to jail for no reason at all. You go to jail for a murder. Harry going even so like, and even if Harry tells the truth, he doesn't say yes I, I got shot. Why did you go to the hospital? Oh. Yeah. So either way it's still messed up. But great episode. Happy to see the show back again, back on track and staying on focus right, right now. Because a lot of times the show kind of went off of the rails a little bit, and and the storyline was kind of weird. But I'm, I'm happy that it focuses back on this main story right now. And now we got this other thing going on with this whole alien threat situation. Uh, that's, that's another bag of beans. So let's see, let's see, let's see what that goes. But fun episode. Really enjoyed a whole lot. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the episode of Resident Alien. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it, you will enjoy having to watch it too. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, shaboom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would really appreciate it. Also, links down below. Can I show my social media? You want to follow me there? Thank you so much. Also, to, it also connects you to my stores where I sell, where I sell, where I sell items from hats, the shirts, the bags, the backpacks, the leggings, the, the, the sweatpants, and what's not. Links down below. Check it out. Buy, see some stuff. Buy some stuff. I really appreciate it if you do. And thank you. So like I always say, in my dreams in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.